Hi, welcome back to the SCC online training videos. Now that you're familiar with the interface of the members area of SCC online web edition, and you know how to conduct easy and advanced searches, let's take a closer look at the search results page. When you conduct a search, SCC online web edition will display your search results in the search results page. I'm going to conduct a search for administrative law so that we have a list of results to work with. As you can see, the search results page is divided into three main sections. The section on the left displays the list of databases with a count of results for your search query. The section in the middle displays a list of your search results. Each item contains a few details that you could use to quickly scan through your results. The section on the right of the page contains the details of the search result that you may have chosen from the section in the middle column. Let's take a look at each of these more closely. In addition to displaying your search results, SCC Online Web Edition lets you refine your search from within the search results page. You can do this by using the options in the leftmost section of the search results page. Use the search within results text box to refine the list of your search results with more precision and accuracy. Just enter the text you want to search for in this box and press enter or the magnifying glass icon next to it. And that's it. SCC Online Web Edition will now go through your search results and create a fresh set of results that contain your original search term as well as the text you entered in the search within results text box. The results tree, which is this list of databases and numerals under the search within results text box, contains the databases that include your search results and the number next to each database represents the number of results found within that database. You can choose to look at results from particular databases by clicking on the check boxes next to them. By default, the all results checkbox is ticked for you. Clicking on the only icon that appears next to a database restricts the search results to results found within only that database. You can also use the year function towards the bottom of this section to narrow down your search results to a date range that you can define from the two drop-down menus that appear next to the years here. The central or main section of the search results page displays the contents of each search result where the data of the note selected from the results list is shown. This list has a number of details that you could use to scan through your search results even without going through the full text of each result. You can use the Sort By drop-down menu to arrange your search results in the manner that you prefer. For example, if you're looking for results from larger benches, choose the Quorum Largest First option to arrange your search results in descending order of bench strength. Aside from the title and a snippet of each result, this list also displays the status of the result and the bench strength. The numbers in this box represent the bench strength, that is, the quorum for each judgment. If a red circle appears next to this, it indicates that the note has been overruled. In addition, a tick mark appears next to results that you have read, so that you do not have to duplicate your effort. The first result is shown in the section on the right, and so is ticked by default. The section on the right of the search results page displays the result that you select from the section in the middle. Your search result appears in the main section and your search query is highlighted in a yellow box wherever it appears in the result. You can use the arrow icons to go through these highlights or to go through the list of results. 
the outer arrows take you to the previous or next result and the inner arrows take you to the previous or next highlight. An additional set of functions makes your legal research even more powerful. The case reference icon on the left will take you to a list of search results that displays all the items where that particular case has been mentioned. This second icon helps you resize the font for the search result according to your convenience and comfort. To print a search result, just click the printer icon in the middle of the toolbar. You can use the envelope icon to email the search result as a PDF document. The diskit icon at the end of the toolbar lets you save the search result for later viewing. Thank you for watching this training video and here's looking forward to meeting you again very soon. Bye bye.